Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching The Day After Tomorrow. This is another disaster film that a bunch of you, and I mean a lot of you, have been recommending. So <laughs> I cannot wait to check it out because every time you guys recommend something and with so much passion, you tend to never miss. So yeah, very, very excited. We watched Volcano a few weeks back. That was a great time. And I think about a year ago, actually, we watched Twister. And a lot of these disaster films have been absolutely fun. Yeah, especially because, you know, like the 90s, 2000s, it was just the era for movies like this to really, really shine. You know, you had a little bit of that cheese. You had, you know, the the action and the fun characters. I remember seeing the trailer for this a while back and like the visuals looked absolutely amazing. And I love a good, you know, like disaster flick like this, you know, give us the destruction, give us the horror, you know, the fun characters here and there like i'm super pumped for this one if you guys want to catch the full length reaction with your own copy that's going to be available on our patreon and if you want to watch these reactions early make sure that you hit the join button and become a youtube member huge shout out to james cook and bella kai fresh and goodlow and suave master 42 guys thank you so much for becoming producer nights and joining the cavalry we truly appreciate all the love and support you guys have given us throughout these weeks thank you so much we hope that you guys enjoy and we'll catch you guys after the movie oh yes Get it? <laughs> you like my little jazz hands? Oh. Ooh. It's getting stormy out here. 20th Century Fox. Presents. The Day After Tomorrow. That is awesome. I feel like we're soaring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I also like that the letters are reflecting off the water. Man, our planet is so damn beautiful. I know. It's crazy how it can feel almost otherworldly sometimes. Yeah, or like, you know, some of the places in Iceland where it looks straight up like it's a different planet. Imagine if this is the entire film. We're just here roaming around. <laughs> Somewhere in That's Antarctica. It. It's actually documentary. <laughs> wow. The music is beautiful. Yeah. Not the music I expected from a disaster film. It's actually great because it really invokes that sense of wonder, right? Like you said, because our planet is so beautiful, but also so formidable. Boss will chew my head off if these cores get messed up. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> you let Jason operate the drill? Yeah, he can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> that attitude. I don't think he can. He didn't I'm, seem that confident about it. I'm I'm rooting for him. Come on, Jason. <laughs> oh no, Jason! <laughs> what did you do? Whoa. Is... Oh, that is not I don't think that's not good. The way I would just perish. <laughs> Ooh, you drilled in uh, too deep, bud. It's all Jason's fault. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh! Oh! oh, shit. Oh, my God. Give me your hand. I go on the drill. Yep, let the drill go. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, dude, it was hollow underneath? Yeah. It does seem that what way. What are they doing? What could possibly be that important? All of the research, I'm imagining. Yeah. You're risking your, your whole life. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. Oh ah. my god. Oh, he had a pickaxe, okay. Get him out of there, come on. Look at that gap. The whole damn shelf is breaking off. That's what's happening. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Whoa. It divided the entire thing. Split in half. Oh, that's terrifying. Heat from the sun arrives at the equator and is carried north by the ocean. But global warming is melting the polar ice caps and disrupting this flow. Oh. Mm. But what I do know is that if we do not act soon, it is our children and our grandchildren who will have to pay the price. 
Ooh, the commentary. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Vice President, the cost of doing nothing could be even higher. Right, yeah. like people could, you know, die. <laughs> Our economy is every bit as fragile as the environment. Perhaps you should keep that in mind before making sensationalist claims. Sensationalist? Oh my God. The price that broke off was about the size of the state of Rhode Island. Some people might call that pretty sensational. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sassy. <laughs> Yeah. What year did this come out? <laughs> 2004, I believe. It's been 20 years and not much has changed. Yeah. Well, thank you. That's what we're here for, right? Put on a good show? Quite. Uh, I... Bilbo! Absolutely. We can hail a cab. Hey, there hey. you go. That's how <laughs> you get it. one. <laughs> oh, man. Things are starting to change. My man. Gotta get your rest in, you know, it's important. Tita, <laughs> <laughs> baby kept us awake all night. Hey! Ooh. George's bank. Oh, it's rough seas out there. Must have knocked it about. No, those are the first signs. It's beginning. Well, you know what these scientific gatherings are. All dancing girls, wine and parties. <laughs> hey man, get that sake. Hell yeah. Right, right, just leaving the office. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? Is that hail? Oh. oh! Oh my god! Oh, that is very dangerous. Look at the size of those things! Dude, they're like this! It's raining bricks! Take Whoa. cover! Oh my god! I think he's got a briefcase. Oh no! Oh, why? Should've just stayed there, man. Damn it. Yeah, so it's all over the world. Well, new fear unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I see Hale. Slamming into the unprepared island chain with a cataclysmic force never before. Oof. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so young he in this. He's so young. Oh my god. Maybe you ought to make time. Excuse me, I'm not the one who's away for months and months at a time. Oh. Sam joined a team? Yeah, I think there's a girl involved. <laughs> Looks like you gotta catch up <laughs> quite a bit with your kid, man. Yeah. All right, okay, I'll be there, okay? I'll be there. Hmm. A bit of a workaholic, I see. Mm hmm Must be hard to balance everything, especially when you're gone for months at a time. Yeah. But, like, it's your work, you know? <laughs> and it's pretty important work. Yeah. Control our budget. It doesn't matter if he hates you. My son doesn't hate me. You're missing the point. <laughs> if Raymond oh, Becker pulls our budget, wait, wait, you wait. What do you mean, oh, shit? Is he late again? <gasps> oh my god. Oh. oh, this poor kid. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sam. I'm sorry I'm late. Dad, it's fine. The cab's already here. That's okay. I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh boy. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Oh, that's oh, worse. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's worse. I got every question right on the final, and the only reason why Mr. Spangler failed me was because I didn't write out the solutions. Why not? I do him in my head. He said that if he can't do him in his head, then I must be cheating. What? Well, that's ridiculous. How can he fail you for being smarter than he is? That's what I said. You did? <laughs> How do you take it? He flunked me, remember? Yeah, not yeah. that good. I'm gonna call this guy and have a word with him. We're gonna get this whole thing straightened out. Don't worry about it, Sam. Ah, so distant. It's a shame because they seem to have a, a lot in common. Yeah, actually. They need to spend more time together. He seems like a smart kid. Hey, come take a look at this storm system. It's enormous. I can only imagine the view from space, like seeing a hurricane <sighs> or something from up there, puts things into a scale. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is that? It looked like multiple systems. Flying in weather like this? Just, oh, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tempting your luck, man. <laughs> the stress eating. I love it. He's afraid of flying. I'm fine.
feel like everyone's heart kind of drops a little bit, right? When you see the fasten your seatbelt sign. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Are they gonna stop serving drinks? Yep. It's the nervous walk. <laughs> no! Ugh. Yeah, when they're walking that briskly. Oh, we've she didn't all even... been there. <gasps> we'd ask that you please fasten your seatbelts and put your tray tables and seat backs in their upright positions. Oh, that's bad turbulence. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Whoa. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, oh my oh, god, look no. at the wind! Those flaps are moving. You gotta get out of there. Can I have my hand back? <laughs> he probably just crushed it. I can totally... <laughs> perfect timing. That's just perfect. I can totally relate, man. I hate flying so much. There's a boy here registering a 13 degree drop in ocean temperature. Oh yeah, that's right. That boy malfunctioned the other day. Is it a malfunction though? George's bank to get it. This boy isn't in George's bank. He's just off Greenland. Oh, it's a oh. different one. What are the odds of two boys failing? Oh, my heart just sank. Oh, oh no. A third one? Three. They're not failing. <laughs> nice transition. <laughs> We're only two blocks away. You might as well walk. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. See? Oh, chills. A mass migration like that? Oh my. That is never good news. What's going on? It's crazy how birds just know. That's right. Nuts. They feel. Look at that. Out of Wildfoot. That's it. Time's up. Correct answers, please. That's five points for Woodmont. Nice. Next question. In what year did Luke all the smart kids send to the throne? Oh, Ooh. it's getting juicy. <laughs> you know, he was like, don't you dare look at my girl like that. <laughs> the girl that's not my girl, but should be my girl, but and is my girl. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey. 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 Oh, hey. <laughs> would you like, would you like a tour? Sure, that'd be great. No. Oh, oh my God. It's an evil world we live in. Oh, poor guy. She looked at him though, but like, what is he supposed to do? Not let her go? <laughs> Serious competition. Please. You're not helping, man. He's really rich too. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, if he's going to this school, probably is. Well. Yep, there you go. Yeah. It's already happening. You don't have much time. One of our nomad boys registered a 13 degree drop, but there are four more across the North Atlantic showing the same thing. Damn. Imagine getting the call you were dreading. It's not a forecast model. It's the closest thing we have. Yeah, it's the only example they have now. Nothing like this has ever happened before. At least not in the last 10,000 years. It's a very long time. Ugh. Every 10,000 years? See, as humans, we're not prepared for a change in climate, like, no. a climatic change like this? Like, we really are at the mercy of nature. Of this very right. fine balance. Yeah, it really is on the edge of a knife. Just take a look. Should you be monitoring the weather? Hey. What weather? He's like, I'm monitoring you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> The weather center. It's Tommy, I'm down at the beach. I'm in the middle of something, Tommy, what do you need? Oh. There's, there's hail. The sign of snow falls coming down. Low pressure system. In LA? The coastline is creating a cyclonic system across the LA basin. Dude, the one day you needed to be paying attention, really? Oh, man. Yeah, hello. Hey, boss, turn on the weather channel right away. I think we have to issue a tornado warning. Tornado warning? Oh. Oh, 
no! Holy crap! Yup, it's forming. <gasps> oh, <laughs> look at that! You know, I would say that you've lost your mind, but uh, you've been this way for the past 20 years. <laughs> well, probably for the best to be worried. What's going on here? They just issued a tornado warning in Los Angeles. Break yeah, there it is. This is happening so damn quickly. Oh, this is so terrifying. Oh! oh. Fox chopper. oh look, look at, at the that size. visual. Dude, new fear unlocked. <laughs> Are you getting this on camera that this tornado just came and erased the Hollywood sign? Not the Hollywood sign. <laughs> See, it's always popular landmarks, you know? <laughs> Whoa, man, these visuals are insane. This looks incredible. Can we talk about that? Yeah, get the hell out. This is really bad, man. What you oh. are two actual tornadoes. Wait, wait, it looks like they joined it for one large tornado. A mega oh tornado. My God. Whoa. Can that even happen? Whoa. Whoa. You're on TV right in the middle of it. Oh, my God. Dude, you get guys gotta there, go. Please. We gotta get out of here, man. Drive come away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get out of there. Oh. <gasps> Porsche. Oh my God. I hope no one was in that car. Oh well, he got crushed. It's what the minis were doing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh that my one. God. I'm noping out of there. I was not expecting to see tornadoes. Dude, this is so scary. <laughs> what the hell? No way! Oh! Yikes. It's the size of the entire city. Yeah, that's all of downtown gone. Yeah, it's just gonna wipe the entire building. Either it stopped or they're in the eye right oh, now. Oh, the eye of the storm? Yeah. Oh, I love this. This is great. Fantastic shot, man. <gasps> Yikes, uh, they got whoa. so lucky. Yeah, now the tornado looks like it's dissipating. My goodness, the amount of destruction. The visuals in this are amazing, I, I have to say. It looked amazing. What you're seeing is what's left of downtown Los oh. Angeles. Hey, man. The entire city gone in a mere, mere minute. West, the first so much for one in a billion. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, I don't think those two in a billion was accounting for this type of weather. The strongest typhoon ever recorded. Hang on, are you saying that these things are interconnected? We have to consider. I mean, yeah, of course. What do you mean? But no one has taken into account how much fresh water has been dumped into the ocean because of melting polar ice. Mmm, there it is. Oh. Hold on, Jack. Are you suggesting these weather anomalies are going to continue? Not just continue. Get worse. Oh, great news. How could it get worse? I think we're on the verge of a major climate shift. Dude, I just got chills, man. The government has to start making long-term preparations now. Jack, all you have is a theory. Well, then give me the mainframe and let me prove it. No. I mean, when things are already going wrong, you better start at least getting ready. No? Maybe I can help. Welcome aboard. Thanks. Nice. Hi, I'm Jason. <laughs> Join the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shit together, Jason. The world is ending, man. Come on. You've been such a brave big boy. Thank you. You're welcome. Aw. Brave Dude. little guy. The only one who hasn't taken a break. Maybe I'll try to shut my eyes for a while. Yeah, how could you rest when you think the world is about to end? And, and there's a thunderstorm going, going on like this? That would just crack the whip behind me. Frank, is he always so obsessive? Yes. <laughs> Does he ever lighten up? Not no. really. <laughs> Jason just <laughs> taking every single chance he has. Frank's been working with him since the Stone Age, but I've only had to endure two years of servitude. <laughs> the back is like, ugh. <laughs> Jack, Jack, we get the results. Oh, you just laid down. Six to eight months. That can't be. That time scale isn't in months, it's in weeks. Oh! Excuse me, what? Way less time than we thought. 
Rapid flooding has slowed transportation and caused numerous closures, including the Lincoln and Holland. This is just yeah. normal New York, by the way. <laughs> this is not. Nothing has happened here yet. <laughs> Always on the day with a Y, you know? <laughs> hey, Sam, guess what? We got a place to stay. Of course, that kid would swoop in and save them all. <laughs> He's so done. He's that like, great. Aren't taking any chances. Yeah, people are already stocking up, getting some water and a bunch of toilet paper. <laughs> Always a toilet paper, man. Large scale evacuations right now. You lost your mind, Hall. I have to go. He's Piece not taking it seriously, shit, huh? Come on, Jeff. Incompetence, once again. I couldn't let you leave New York without seeing the Natural History Museum. <laughs> He's like, oh, man, this <laughs> so, guy. So pedantic. Indicating that it froze instantly. Instantly. Oh, hell no. Foreshadowing. That sounded like a yeah. bunch of foreshadowing. <laughs> it really did. It must be nice in Spain. Wish I was there. Hey, Spain with the good weather. <laughs> Get the jamon and the wine. Don't forget the green olives. Enough tea and biscuits to sink a ship? Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. As long as the loo doesn't back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't back it up. That was a great moment. Yeah, deep yeah. down, they're all very concerned. They're scared, but they're all... trying not to devolve into panic. Jeez, you can barely see anything. I know. Oh, that looks... Oh, Whoa. oh no. Oh, no. Hell no. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, dude, that looks so sick. It's a wall of clouds. <gasps> what the hell is going on? Oh, no. My fuel lines are starting to freeze. <laughs> oh. Oh, they're going down. That's it. Oh, God. Oh. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's freezing pretty much immediately. Dude, you were right. It was foreshadowing. <laughs> no, it's all freezing. Oh, oh no! If the copter froze that quick, I I I wouldn't even come out, man. No, 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 no! Screw that! Oh! Oh my God! What temperature does negative 150 degrees Fahrenheit? 150 degrees negative? This thing looks just like a hurricane. Only hurricanes don't form over land. This one did. Everything is changing. Good evening, sir. Hey, who? Thanks, Victor. I'll see you in the morning. Right, sir. Terrible weather. This guy is so damn rich. <laughs> I know. My goodness. They look like the exit from Central Park, right? Mm -hmm. It's my dad's place, and he's kind oh. of around, so. Where is he? Skiing in Europe with my stepmom. Well, that's what he says, but he's actually Bruce Wayne. <laughs> it's been raining like this for three days now. Okay, what's gonna happen in New York? <laughs> we already got tornadoes and uh, a whole, what looked like the beginning of an ice age in Scotland. You already know what's about to happen, which is first things first, Take down the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> oh, yes. Gotta. Hey, Victor's coming to pick me up. Do you guys want to ride to the train station? Been stranded since this morning. Not anymore. Yeah, exactly. There is no trains. Rose by 25 feet in a matter of seconds. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. Which, incredible as it sounds, looks more and more like a tropical hurricane. I was going to say, yeah. Brother, do you guys want me to give you a ride? Where is he? He's in a boarding school in Philadelphia. If this system... You got to go all the way to Philly? We should take the stairs. We're on the top floor. He was right. Yep. <laughs> He's right, sir. No. We need to get home. I wonder oh. if he's going to start figuring out, you know, what's going to happen here, because mm. this is not normal. Oh, those oh. poor animals. <laughs> what do you do? Oh. How do you save them? I mean, you can't really set them free. It's... Worse out there. Almost every part of Manhattan. No traffic signals, car accidents, at least 200. 200 car accidents already. Oh, no. 
Dude, imagine you're hearing that as a parent and your kid is smack dab in the middle of this. Where do you go? I mean, Manhattan is just so crowded. Hey. <laughs> that dog can't come in here. Come on, man. It's pouring out there. Give him a break, man. It's supposed to be a public library. I feel so bad for this guy and his dog. Like, look at this situation. You can't make an exception. It's a little bit of compassion. Uh, there must be rats everywhere. That's because it's New York. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. It's out of service. I'll give you $100 to put it in service. Oh, you don't have to do that. No, no, really, $200. But I won't have it. I won't have it. I won't have it. I won't have it. Oh, God, I love buses. This is <laughs> he's like, well, it's in service now. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, we're not going to be able to drive anywhere. We should just go back to your apartment. Yeah, I'll go for that. What? Are you kidding? We have to get higher. Come on. Okay, at least this kid is smart. Look at that. It's reaching the height of the license plate already. Dude, yeah. The water is up to their waists, man. Oh no, she's gonna try to go help them. Oh, there's the Statue of Liberty! You called it! <laughs> oh. oh, that's a tsunami! Oh my god! Oh, they're screwed! <gasps> that is way worse than a flood! That is massive! Look at that tsunami! Oh my. <gasps> Oh, man. Oh, that is an epic shot. This is such a morbid curiosity thing. Like, it's awful, but it looks fantastic. Oh, no. It's gonna wipe all of those people. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, there's nowhere to go. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Look at the force, Ooh. too. Oh my god, the water's just rushing in. Yeah. Destroying everything in its path. Oh god. Of course, it's all a straight line. Oh You're gonna be able no. to see the water coming yeah. right in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Get the hell out of there! Dude! Is she not seeing it? What the hell? No. Grab the person, go! Oh my god. In the name of love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get out of there now. Yeah. Run. Yeah, grab your pup and go. The dog has to survive. The dog has to survive. That's literally my one condition in this movie. Oh, shit. Whoa. Is the water not going to just break through the glass? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. it is. Oh, no. Oh, dude, there's cabs flooding in? Yeah, it's so much force. Good thing you've got skyscrapers in New York, man. I was just thinking that at least you can... Go up a few levels? Yeah. God, can't believe level six already. And you won't uh. believe how fast they grow. Yeah, you start worrying about all your family out of there. Of course. We've located two other supercells in addition to the one over Scotland. There's one over northern Canada and another one over Siberia. Two more. Oh my God. Here's a projection of 24 hours out. 24 hours? And it covers pretty much the uh. entire planet. Oh, it's over. When this storm is over, we'll be in a new ice age. It's insane how quickly this is all happening. What can you do with the amount of time? Nothing. Hide away. Three days. It's time you got out of there. I'm afraid that time has come and gone, my friend. Wait, Don't what does that mean? That. That's it? What can we do? Save as many as you can. Oh, no. Shit, man. I can't imagine that feeling of being so helpless. Yeah. Jack, something's happened in New York. <sighs> more and more bad news. I'm gonna be here all Please help. Over here. Over here. Oh, I get the title now. The day after tomorrow. They said 72 hours. I get it. Ah. Uh. You smart. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Look at that face. I would never be able to say no. <laughs> Just say that cute pup, please. Yeah. Listen, thanks for coming back for me. 
was really brave. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> point for me. I guess I better return her back. Yeah, the one that you almost died for. <laughs> Might as well. Better ask her out, man. You don't have that much time. Might as well. Sam, just tell her how you feel. Yeah, at this point. Yeah. Okay, he's not that bad. He seems like a nice guy. I know. I judged him a little too early. I've been trying to reach Sam. Yeah, how do you not go out of your mind? Oh, that water's gonna be freezing cold. Are you sure about this? <laughs> yeah. Man. It works. Okay, good. Good. Where was it taken? Miami. Well, where was I? I don't remember that trip. Sam and I went with my sister. You were in Alaska. Oh, man. He's been working all this time. Everything was one more. Mm. One more bedtime story. One more ride on my shoulders. One more daddy. <laughs> it's mom. I'm so happy you're okay. <laughs> mom. Can you call Laura and Brian's parents and tell them that we're all right? Oh, oh shit. Sam? What the hell? Sam? <laughs> Oh, you gotta get out of there quick, man. It's gonna turn into a massive blizzard with an eye in the center of it, just like a huge hurricane. Uh-huh. Only the air is gonna be so cold you could freeze to death in seconds. How the hell do you stay alive mm -hmm. without any power? No heating. I will come for you. Do you understand me? I will come what? for you. <sighs> How the hell is he gonna make it all the way to the city? Can you hear me? Oh, oh. Sam? He's gonna be all right. Do you understand me? I mean, I totally get them. I'd be so worried my kid was in the middle of all that. And you can't advise him constantly, yeah. right? You can only, I mean, good thing yeah. he at least contacted him. Come on, man, where are you? Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I thought you drowned. Let's find some dry clothes for you. Yeah. yeah, you better start warming up before you get sick. sick. <laughs> Where'd you store the Arctic gear? You can't make it to New York, Jack. I've walked that far before in the snow. Jack, this is not the same. Lucy, tell him. I have to do this. No. Yeah. I know. Yeah, there's no stopping him. I mean, if you have the skill set, right? Gonna go all the way out there in that temperature? <sighs> what, what, what are you doing? I'm using my body heat to warm you. Hey, that ain't so bad, is it? <laughs> From your arms and legs rush back to your heart too quickly. Your heart could fail. Oh. Where did you learn that? Some of us were actually paying attention in health class. <laughs> right. I'm sure I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. That was very smooth. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna brief the president directly. Oh wow! Ooh. Talking to the man himself. And they should have done that from the get-go. They just and didn't take what they, he was saying seriously. They in wasted time. so much time. Yeah. <laughs> Suck on that. <laughs> oh no! What now? Why so ominous all of a sudden? I don't, I don't, I don't like the switch in music, man. This is not good. Oh, it's snowing. Is that a ship? Holy crap. That's a ship. In the middle of the city? <gasps> oh. oh, that's a great freaking visual. Look at this. Okay. There is no way that can fit through the avenues, can it? I mean, this one can. <laughs> well, I guess it can. Oof. That is a wild visual. Earth's atmosphere will restabilize, but with an average temperature close to that of the last ice age. Jesus. Well, what can we do about this? 
head as far south as possible. Yeah, there's nothing you can do aside from moving. Mexico would be best. Mexico, maybe you should stick to science and leave policy to us. Well, we tried that approach. You didn't want to hear about the science when it could have made a difference. Exactly. There you go. Thank you. He deserved that. What about the people in the north? I'm afraid it's too late for them. If they go outside, a storm will kill them. That's it. Stay as warm as you can. Their best chance is to stay inside and try to ride it out. All of this is on you, man. Could have evacuated when you had the chance. Yeah. Thanks. And good luck. You too. Yeah. Jack is awesome. The fact that he still showed. Yeah. Even though his, his priority is to get to his son. You can't evacuate half the country because one scientist thinks the climate is shifting. This guy is an idiot. He really is. It's easy for him to suggest this plan. He's safely here in Washington. His son is in Manhattan. Yeah. Asshole. Give the order for the National Guard to evacuate the southern states. Sure. That's going to save some lives, at least. But also understand, like, I, I don't know how I could live with myself just abandoning the people in the northern states. Like, I think it's really hard to accept the term, it's too late. You know, like, yeah. I can understand the denial. That's a 12-year-old scotch. <laughs> Twelve-year-old Scotch, it is. To England, to mankind, to Manchester United. <laughs> Get the priorities straight, right? I just, I just wish I could have seen him grow up. You know. The important thing is he will grow up. Yeah. Oh, dude. Oh man. My heart broke for those guys the math club and the chess club now if there's a bigger nerd in here please point him out <laughs> <laughs> that's funny people damn so all that water is actually frozen over now like people can actually walk on it that's crazy dude the water is frozen over enough to walk on we should get going before the snow gets too deep is it safe to go out there though I mean, I don't know. His, yeah, his dad said not to go outside. When I talked to my dad, he told me we should stay inside. Yeah, exactly. We got no choice. That's not it. Okay, get ready to go. If these people go outside, they will freeze to death. Exactly. Yeah, they gotta know. It's a risk. Yeah. An unnecessary risk. No, no, no. It's not. We've wasted enough time talking about. Leaving is an unnecessary risk. Look, look, look. Just look for a second. Come on. How do you convince all of those people? storm is gonna get bad it's gonna get really really bad you're not gonna be able to survive oh god believe me sir please just stay oh. Oh. he tried to warn the man he tried. that feeling of people just not listening yeah. and he knows they're dead that's it yeah i can't imagine how helpless he must feel it'll be impossible to reach each other leave a message for me at the american embassy in mexico city okay Tell Sam I love him so much. God, I miss you. And meanwhile, like, she's in the hospital too, right? They're still trying to help people. I'm sure there are people coming in with injuries all the time from what's going on. We haven't been able to reach Peter's parents. I'm going to try later, okay? Thank you. Oh, no. This is just horrible news after one after the other. Yeah. I've been watching your back for 20 years. I think I'd let you go alone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where do you think you're going? <laughs> Neither one of you knows how to navigate where the dam. Without me, you'll end up in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's a solid crew right there, man. Aww. Wow. They are real ones. Yeah. For going with him. That's ballsy, man. Just. <laughs> <He's> like... <laughs> I love you! <laughs> <laughs> Call me! <laughs> many U.S. refugees who are fleeing south in the wake of the approaching storm. These people came here in anticipation. It's crazy. It's snowing all the way down there. And they are wading across the river illegally into Mexico. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. The commentary. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you think we were going to burn? You can't burn books. No, absolutely <laughs> not. You want to freeze to death? Exactly. Warm up the place old school. <laughs> old school style. Burn a couple of copies of Twilight. 
Yeah, grab what you can and ration that, man. We cannot burn Friedrich Nietzsche. He was the most important thinker of the 19th century. Oh, please. Nietzsche was a chauvinist pig who was in love with his sister. He was not a chauvinist pig. But he was in love with his sister. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, gotcha. A section on tax law down here that we can burn. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> burn the tax law. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Plenty of material. Is Peter's ambulance here? No. In the confusion, I don't know what happened. People just started to panic and they left and... Peter can't be moved in anything but an ambulance. I called and left a message for the county ambulance service. Oh my God. What does this mean for Peter? Oh man. Just a little boy. That's incredible of her to stay for that boy. Hmm. hmm. Are you though? I mean, I, I don't think your dad's gonna make it. Nah, he'll make it. He believes in his dad. He'll make it. I mean, you got it, right? Yeah, he'll Keep make... your hopes up. Yeah. What else are you gonna do? Where are we? It's like we're just north of Philadelphia. Oh, they're pretty close. Okay, a couple of hours. Okay. Oh, oh shit! What now? Ah. You're kidding, right? Roadblock. We're walking from here. Yeah, they literally oh said it. It's unpassable. God. Damn, they gotta walk from Philly to New York? Okay, guys. Let's get moving. These poor people. No. Oh, no. Wake up. That's it. Because you get very sleepy, right? Yeah. With extreme cold weather like that? I was gonna say, at least they didn't suffer. You know, you spend some years on the streets and you learn how to keep warm. <laughs> hey. Those poor people. Mm. During those rough winters. New York winters are, can be brutal, man. Your favorite vacation? Besides this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the best one by far. <laughs> one of his research trips a few years ago. And uh, the ship broke down and we got stuck. And it rained constantly. It's actually really nice, you know, just me and my dad hanging out for 10 days. Oh. That's all he needed. Yeah. Just a bit of quality time with his father. Yeah, when <sighs> the world is about to end, it starts putting things into perspective, huh? All that time you could have spent doing, you know, spending that quality time with your family or doing something else. It's all about balance, though, because what he's doing is also very important. You know, it's not like... Yeah, of course. If it weren't for him, a lot of lives would have been lost. At least thanks to- oh no. Oh! Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh shit! Ah. Oh god! Hold on to something! <sighs> He's holding on all that weight pulling you down. <sighs> Wait, what? Yeah. Uh, I really hope that wasn't important stuff in there. Yeah. I'll pull you up! Yeah, I guess that's the best solution, right? You drop all the weight. I'll try. Don't don't take off your gloves. Oh god. It's crazy they can still hear each other with that amount of wind. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Ugh. There's not enough time. Oh my god. Yeah, there's nothing you could have done there. Such bad luck. They didn't see they were walking on glass. Oh, that's three cups. This is so many upsetting moments. What the hell? Yeah, that is very sad. You think God's gonna save you? No. You're holding on to that Bible pretty tight. I'm protecting it. <laughs> this Bible, 
is the first book ever printed. But if Western civilization is finished, I'm going to save at least one little piece of it. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's the end. You're saving a very That's important piece of history. Such an interesting stage that they're at, right? The acceptance that this might as well be it. And you start thinking, right? What can I preserve if there are survivors? Who is it? You heard somebody was left behind. Ah, oh, they showed up. Oh. Yay. Thank God. Yeah. You got your ambulance. Thank you so much for coming. Oh. Yeah, I got Peter the, the hell out of there. Hey, are you all right? You look like you have a fever or something. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's gonna... Everything I've ever cared about, everything I've worked for, has all been preparation for a future that no longer exists. Yeah. Oh, dude. That is a wild wake-up call. Truth about what? About why I joined the team. Ooh! Ooh. You tell him. Tell her. A little confession? I joined it because of you. Get safe before she dies. Get in! <laughs> Hell yeah. So that's all it took, huh? Just a little, uh, She apocalyptic. seems to be feeling much better already, so I don't know. Mexico in control. This is Delta 2 Imagine those temperatures in Mexico. That, that is insane. I think this is the first time we're in Mexico in a movie and it does not have that yellow filter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the complete opposite. The president's motorcade got caught in the storm. No. They didn't make it. Oh, no. Oh That's it? God. No president? Oh, no. He's the vice president. We're stuck with this freaking guy. I wouldn't wake up this morning. I oh, no. It's hypothermia. But how can it be hypothermia? We've all maybe, been... Look, maybe it's just the flu, you guys. No, no, it's not the flu. It's the wound, huh? Yeah, it has to be. Books can be good for something other than burning. <laughs> How's her pulse? It's really fast. Does she have any injuries, like a cut or something that might have gotten infected? Mm. About a cut on her leg a few days ago. I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. Yeah, of course you wouldn't, because it's just a cut, right? But with that water? Yeah. Oh, uh. That's blood poisoning. To see me, yeah. She could go into septic shock. I've seen that before. That can get bad. Septic shock? Or a broad spectrum antibiotic immediately, or yeah, that silence speaks louder than any words. Ooh. Amputation, death. There they are. Jesus. Look at how big those those storms are. It's impenetrable, man. You don't see anything. So all I could see is cloud cover. Yeah. I just received some satellite images from the space station. You better take a look. I like how they're all working in tandem to at least share that information, see if anybody can make out what to do. How big is this thing? The vortex is 50 miles in diameter and growing. Oh, God. This one's going to hit New York inside an hour. Oh, great. Oh, Fantastic. no. you got to be shitting me. They gotta get there before that happens. What's wrong with him? Are you all right? Jason! Oh no. Oh, what now? I mean, there's only so much the body can take, right? Of those extreme temperatures. There's gotta be medicine on that ship. I thought you said it was too dangerous to go outside. I know I did. He's gonna go outside in this? On the ship? I'm going with you. Oh. Me too. You guys. Guys are badass. They're badass, yeah. man. I so freaking brave. And I know they don't look it, but these are like 17-year-old kids, you know? Okay, they're in. So far, so good. I really hope they can find some meds in there. Oh, there oh, they are. No. They made it all the way here. <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah. You think they're hungry? 
Uh, probably, probably thriving in this weather too. They're wolves at, at the end of the day. Yeah. Oh God. Is that really necessary? You could have just used that on the door. No, he needs to go and give us the extra action, you know? True. Yes, you're right. We need to up the stakes even more. I don't know. Those doors are pretty thick. True. Yeah, it's, that looks like steel. <laughs> hey, hey, guys, I found it. What? How do you know? Because it says penicillin on the bottom. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <laughs> because, you know, it says it right here. <laughs> on the label. Oh, we're going to get some wolf action here. We should find some food while we're here. But we don't have time. Yeah, for sure. None of us are going to survive much longer without food, okay? Including Laura. No, they're right. They have to get food. Sam, over here. Bingo. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh. Okay. Jackpot. Oh god lord. Oh, oh shit! What the hell? <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> All I did was open up the cupboard. Oh, they're in for a surprise. Uh what do we do with that? Uh, oh shit. Oh no! Oh, it's got his uh. his ankle. Great, now they're gonna need medication for rabies. Shit. Oh, so bad. You go and try to help one person and you end up getting another one injured. Yeah. Two drop of 10 degrees per second. Per second, Ten dude? 10 degrees per second. Yeah, that is, that is wild. You guys, I think we're in the eye of it. We gotta get back right now. Yeah, he knows what that means. Yeah. This guy is brave as hell. He really is. Fueled by the power of love. And friendship. Of God. course. <laughs> yeah, just go. Run, run, run. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on, man. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Shit. You're gonna need something a little bit more solid than that to keep them out of there. Try and get the supplies. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Yeah, it really is. Wendy's. You think they're still open? <laughs> get a quick burger. <laughs> Wendy's no, but Waffle House would definitely be open. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. Yeah. And Jason is still passed out. That's so brave of the man. They didn't just leave him behind. Oh, the temperatures. There they go. <sighs> Plummeting down. Guys, you need to haul ass right now. Oh. Whoa. Shattering all the glass. Yeah, you're not surviving that if that hits you. I love that you can visually see it though. Yeah. It's like the cold is coming. Take the <laughs> it's a great chase sequence if you think about it. Yeah, very original. <laughs> the invisible villain. Oh. Shit, go, 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 go! <laughs> it's just everywhere. Where can they go? Come on, come on. Close the door! Ah. Keep the heat inside. Go you need to, he needs to light a, a fire over there. Oh my god. Oh, good job, good job. Yeah, there Hell you go. Hell yeah, that's smart. Away from the door. Help, Buddha, help. Come on, Buddha. <laughs> this got so intense, man. <laughs> I am immersed. Yeah, he's feeling better already. A little warmth and rest. 
must be so discombobulating to pass out like that. Well, we had to get inside in kind of a hurry, so I uh, sort of pushed you in. <laughs> I bet it must be such a relief to know that you got your buddy back. Yeah. Sam may not have one more day. Father of the year, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it went from, you know, them being so distant to him doing all of this for his kid. Goes to show he always cared. Yeah. They had so little time to do anything about yeah. it. Because at first they said two weeks and then it just right. went from that to three days. Which is just impossible to get everybody to organize on time. Affirmative. It's finally clearing. Oh. We're over Europe Looks right. like Yeah. That's Italy right there. Is it almost gone? Is it getting better? It's crazy that humanity can't do anything but wait it out though. Yeah. That's all you can do. In the face of nature. And you got some sunlight. Wow. The whole ship? Whoa. Looks like they made it. <laughs> wow. I like how you can tell the ice, you know, it's all yeah. on one side because of the wind. Like the way it's... The shape of it. Whoa, dude. That is crazy. An entirely different landscape. So cold. All of that water just froze. Imagine how cold it must be for that amount of water to freeze like this. That quickly, too. How much further is it to the library? Should be... Right here. Yeah, they're just buried under all Oof. that snow. Dude, this movie really makes you feel cold, man. <laughs> I've been feeling it. I'm like, ugh. It's chilly out here. Yeah, that's it. They're all in there. Oh. Jesus, it's all frozen. Oh, no. Okay. What's that? They were just sleeping? Yeah. My father. Yeah, he did make yeah. that promise. And he accomplished it. Oh, man. Oh man. Father of the year. Yeah. Who else? He was hopeful all the way through. Can't believe it, man. Good for those people too. They made it. They against all those odds. I feel bad for the people that left. Yeah, me too. Because they got so desperate. I can't even fully blame those people either. No. You know? He says there were survivors. That's that's good news. Yeah, you're not going to redeem this guy. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even try. We operated under the belief that we could continue consuming our planet's natural resources without consequence. We were wrong. Okay, all right. You might redeem <laughs> him a little bit. I was not expecting commentary in a yeah, disaster film. I know. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll take it. Whatever you do, you need to do to enrich in the story even further. Are you feeling okay? Where are his parents? What My a, God. What a warrior, man. That poor child. Only a few hours ago, I received word that a small group of people survived in New York City. Against all <laughs> odds and in the face of tremendous adversity. Yeah. Oh. There have to be more, you know? Give her some re relief. I know. She's been stressing out for days. It probably felt like an eternity, though, instead of days. Oh, there they are. Time to go to warmer places. That's enough winter for a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> I would move straight to a tropical area, go to the beach and just stay there. Oh, there are people that made it. 
Yeah, they stayed indoors oh, in those skyscrapers. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, that is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I got the girl. Dad, I got the girl. <laughs> fist bump. Fist bump right there. <laughs> Look at him. He saved her life. Now he got the girl. Oof. Time to oh. thaw all of that ice. <laughs> wow. wow. Hey, man. <laughs> that is eerie. Out of all of the disaster films that we've seen so far, this one had a very serious tone that I was not expecting. It was a bit more that sense of commentary, of warning, right, of, of how things could go, right? Obviously not to this extreme level, but it was truly terrifying and a bit eerie to see some of those things happen. You know, it, it was it was really cool to see some of the visuals, but at the same time, you did feel every single loss. Like it, you you felt bad for these people. That was one thing that genuinely surprised me in this one. Like I expected it to be a bit more popcorn flicky, like not really delve too much into the losses. Like usually what ends up happening is that they kind of breeze over them, but here they, they stayed with it. You know, one thing that I really loved about this is you could really feel the losses, not only on a global scale, but also very much on an individual level, right? I really like really liked that they jumped back and forth between all of these characters that are scattered across Northern America, right? You you are in Washington, then you go to New York, and then we see the people in Mexico. They're just trying to get in. For example, the one with Dennis Quaid's character's friend, Frank, I think his name was, when he had to sacrifice himself. You just see how many losses there really are and how personal it is for each of them like the three men that were stuck in scotland that that just stuck with me man you know they were it was just too late and there's just that part in you that always wonders like but, but maybe it's not like what if it's not too late i just kept staying in that denial you know and then it cuts back to just how catastrophic this is you know it starts with tornadoes and hurricanes and then when we see just how massive those storms are they're covering europe asia and the u.s it was it was just so terrifying like this is easily like new fear unlocked yeah i i enjoyed the pacing of the film as well it was very gradual but then it all of a sudden it feels like it just spiraled out of control it kind of just all like shit hits the fan in in, in a big epic way where like you mentioned they are worrying they're giving us the exposition of what could happen how is it going to go down and all of a sudden it's not two weeks anymore it's right at our doorstep and you get the tornado sequence which looked incredible you get the the storms with the hail. And then I think the highlight of this film obviously has to be that tsunami sequence in New York. My goodness, that looked amazing. From a visual standpoint, it looked incredible. But then when you realize what's happening in the film, you're like, my God, all these people in the streets in a city in a city like New York, it is terrible. And you see you just see those waves coming in and just absolutely demolishing everything in their way. And the only option they have is to go indoors. Thank God for those skyscrapers, because at least they could go up a few floors and kind of, you know, attempt to survive. But even then, that's only the beginning, right? You still have to figure out how to, you know, stay warm, stay alive. Hypothermia is a, a big thing. And, and you could see that they were struggling a lot with that. Something that I really enjoyed that you get to see those characters, you know, burning books, trying to light a fire. Even the fire itself is hard to keep alive. And it is a struggle because as soon as you lose that, that is it. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Like it felt like they were really struggling to survive. It was a constant fear in the back of everybody's minds. You know, like you mentioned, there's multiple characters here all around that are trying to find a solution or at least try to save as many people as possible, even though the problem is already here and they don't have time. So in that sense, it very much felt like there was no end to this. When you're at the climatic point of the film, it really felt like there is no hope. Like everybody's going to die from this. And thankfully, things start to get gradually better and better. But uh, yeah, I mean, this movie really keeps you at the edge of your seat wondering how the hell are they going to even solve this? Yeah, I actually really love that you mentioned, you know, being so stunned by the visuals because it looked absolutely beautiful. But then it's so conflicting because you're watching something and you're saying, whoa, that looks absolutely fantastic. And again, it's like one of those what if things like what would it look like if this were to happen? And seeing that realized in a film like this is always a thrill, of course. But again, like you said, just the realization that this means the death of 
likely thousands and thousands of, if not millions of people, you know, and like you said, in a place that's so congested, like Manhattan, and it's like right there too. But I did like that, you know, that everyone was chose to hide in the public library. All of the problems that progressed for those for that group of survivors in the public library i i love that the issues made sense you know it's it's the cold it's the fact that they only have maybe a couple of vending machines in there you know the fact that you know we have one of the survivors with a cut on their leg and it gets infected because of likely all like you mentioned all of that dirty water yeah and the fact that you know the books are right there and then they were like they were like just looking through the book and just trying to understand through her symptoms what could be wrong see like that's nice those people, they were coming together and they were trying to solve all of these problems. And even, you know, a random character like the homeless person, even he had something to offer where it's like, hey, you got to insulate yourself. Check the garbage for food. There's always food in there. So it was really nice to see those people from completely different backgrounds come together and try to find a solution. I do have to say, I really love the moment when, you know, the creaks and groans start happening and you just see this <laughs> massive ship just like going right by. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. But then, of course, it would make sense because it's like it's it's right there. And uh, that entire situation that surrounded these people and also the the fears and terrors of what might be looming outside, like just how bad is it? How bad is it going to get? And when is it going to get even worse? And that helplessness, I think they did a really nice job. It felt really nice and claustrophobic for that particular group. Yeah, no, it definitely carries a lot of, you know, weight, which is, I think, something that you might miss in a lot of disaster films, depending on the tone that they're going for. And like I, I said, I really enjoy that this one took itself a little bit more serious in the sense, uh, you know, in, in how it depicted the loss of, of the people, right, that were the, the victims of this massive event. And yeah, I really, it's really scary, man. The fact that we are so at the mercy of nature, really. Uh, I think if, if anything, all of these great disaster films really remind us is that we are nothing compared to the forces of nature. Should anything like this happen, all we have is our knowledge, right? And, and, and to attempt to be as smart as we can to solve these problems and stay alive. I also like that they, you know, for a disaster film, they still find a way to kind of inject some of that commentary and give, you know, give out that warning shot like, hey, if we're not careful, I mean, like I mentioned, obviously not to this extent, but things could go wrong. And, you know, there's been some symptoms of some of those things going wrong here and there. And, you know, humanity does have to watch out for how they behave on this planet, on this little rock that we all live in. So I did like that they included some of that. Gosh, I hated the vice president. Oh, my so God. Much. I mean, what an incompetent dude. And and like you're showing him proof like it's it's right there and he could have done something about it. So, I mean, whatever. At the end, they tried to redeem him for me. He's unredeemable. I mean, no. all those people's lives are on, on his hands, really. He could have done something about it. But yeah, it was cool. I think, you know, uh, for what it was, they still try to try to say something with the film which I always applaud films for trying to do. You know, some films don't really stick the landing with that. But I think in this case, it kind of went hand in hand with what was going on. I feel like sometimes, you know, when a film is trying to do some kind of commentary, it can come across a little preachy or, you know, or it can be delivered very ham-fisted, you know, it can be a little heavy and a little flunky, shall we say. And this one, like you said, it, it really made sense with the problems that they were facing because it was a direct consequence of humans' actions. Just the fact that, you know, that the president himself was the person that actually wanted to make things work and wanted to find a solution. It was the vice president that just blocked it from the get go. You know, th that's just what's so messed up about it. Right. Like if they had just gone straight to the president, we could have avoided all of this or at least, you know, prevented so much loss. And also thought it was kind of funny that, you know, they mention how all of these people are fleeing to Mexico. You know, it was just it was an interesting little twist that you wouldn't have expected necessarily. Right. And it's just also so tragic that when these people with so much power and so many resources are in this room in the face of nature, that they have to make a choice and say, you know, when Dennis Quaid's character just draws that red line on the map and says evacuate anyone under this line, the rest forget about it. That just set heavy. I can completely understand being in denial in that moment and being like, oh, my God, we can't just leave those people behind. But guess what? Like the there was a threshold where you could have done something and it was too late. And I, I felt that in that scene, it was handled really well, where you actually felt the weight. Like all of those people in the northern part. That just made me want to. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Freaking vice president. I, I definitely like this movie. I thought that the sequences were very memorable and some of those scenes are going to be, you know, kind of lasered in my mind because yes. I mean, they're iconic, especially that tsunami scene like I mentioned before. This was a great time, guys. Thank you so much for suggesting this and thank you so much for joining us. We hope that you enjoyed and as always, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya.